it is automatic that when someone curses you you may respond with anger you may perhaps give a blast and break his jaw also perhaps but then if you are elevated like buddha for example with a high level of awareness i say it's all right well it can be tackled in many ways one is to do your best <laughs> and <clears throat> having done your best achieve the best that is the in in a worldly sense what we understand i often used to think that if the soul that was separated from the source is born many times and goes back if it has to attain the same condition again then where is the fun you came with certain potency let us see you came with x potency and returned back with x potency there is no fun in it i think it's a foolish game being played out by god that i send you go and come back as clean as you i sent you right but you have to <clears throat> through our sadhana through our practices let that x be multiplied many a times life after life we can increase the potency of our soul and that's why we meditate you see enriching the soul means just as we <laughs> have the growth at the physical level just as we have a growth at mental level emotional level likewise there is a growth also at a spiritual level the biggest problem with hinduism is this that soul is changeless it's an assumption soul is completely pure so if it is completely pure then why need you to purify it further why should you <clears throat> so the idea says mark says let that potency with which we descended be incremental may it grow infinitely so when you return back you have that infinite potency and what is that potency you are carrying yourself with it is increased level of consciousness your perceptivity your responsiveness the increase you see <clears throat> i have defined in a very simple term consciousness consciousness can be defined as degree of awareness to what extent you are aware that also means to what extent you are unaware the consciousness of these trees around us they also carry some level of consciousness they respond to they become aware of the presence of sun right they also become aware of the absence of the sun they become aware of oxygen they become aware of carbon dioxide everything all the fundamental basic thing for their existence they are fully aware with human beings we have awareness and also we have the ability to respond tree cannot respond if you try to cut a branch it will not respond with another branch slapping you back so appropriate response is also required with <clears throat> so that's why the elevated consciousness we enjoy but often our responses towards the loved ones are often erratic people love parents for example how we respond to them see we are hijacked by our own emotions and our own temperament and our ego and reject 
their suggestions often and the relationship gets spoiled from a parent side it's always good but from child side the child remain tormented why did i you know do such a thing and often if it gets repeated <clears throat> then the relationship can really get spoiled and unfortunately see so the kinds of responses we carry out in life so not only to perceive things but to appropriately respond to various situations that makes us human and how to take this further more and more more and more towards it see it is automatic that when someone curses you you may respond with anger you may perhaps give a blast and break his jaw also perhaps but then if you are elevated like buddha for example with a high level of awareness i say it's all right he is cursing me that is his problem it's not my problem right so with that understanding you'll remain silent and you will remain in your blissful state so we need to increase it our level of awareness level of understanding level of responsiveness under all situations you see and that increases the potency of our soul that we cherish so much it gives us life and we owe that much your father gives you let us see 1 million dollar okay and after 50 years if he's still alive you have to give the account to papa and say here is a million dollar but he'll be very unhappy in 50 years at the rate of depreciation it has already become negative you must multiply it what has been given to you must be multiplied same thing the soul and its potency whatever has been given it must multiply otherwise there is no purpose so you can understand a purpose of life from many angles do the best you can under all situation and whatsoever you do do it with your heart then you'll flourish Of course, there are times when you are emotionally drained out and say, "Okay, enough. I'm tired and I'm depressed and I feel like crying." That's also part of our existence. Nothing wrong in crying. Nothing wrong in feeling sad at times. It's okay. Mm-hmm.